Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I have my May favorites for you, and I know we are almost done with June, but I am just getting around to showing you my May favorites, and I'm just going to jump right into this video because I have a ton of product to show you. I have been loving some really great new things, and I'm excited to tell you about them. High end to drugstore. Uh, so I'm going to start with the high end, and I always end these videos with my favorite nail polishes of the month. Okay, so first product, jumping right in. This is a product that I'm not going to go fully into. Uh, I'm going to do a full review on it because I love it so, so much. But the first favorite for the month of May that is going to be with me throughout the whole entire summer. Oh my God, it's getting so dark right now. This is the Vita Lumiere Aqua Cream Foundation. And I love this. I had tried, I tried so hard not to cave in, not to cave in. This is a really big splurge. It's a major splurge, but I gave in and I went to the Chanel counter and I tried this out and I also tried the liquid foundation out and compared and I just loved this so 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 much this is a medium coverage cream foundation um, it's very creamy it's very soft it has just this really nice texture I am in the shade 60 beige which surprisingly it is the darkest shade that it comes in and um, when the girl told me that I was in the darkest shade I was like are you I was like really um, and I went to her and I already had dark I already had tan skin I already had summer skin um, I was surprised that it was the darkest shade. So you open this box on up and it's really cute. It comes in this little velvet case with the Chanel symbol and this is what the compact actually looks like. That's the front and this is the back. And you open it on up. It's this little like pop compact. Um, this hardware it comes with the mirror and this little press, uh, press down palette. And you open it on up and then this is the cream foundation. I will get into this fully um, when I do a full review on this. It's expensive. It's pretty expensive. This is $58 and you can get this at any Chanel counter or wherever. It has an SPF of 15 which is great because you can put this on for when you're out in the sun. Fresh and hydrating cream compact makeup it says on the top. Okay, so as you can see from the start of this video to now, it's black because it's the afternoon and the sky is pitch black right now. It's about to downpour. So I am just going to do the best I can. I turned on a small light in my room, not too bright. Okay, so continuing on with my May favorites, I'm talking about the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. And I love the finish. It keeps you really glowy, really natural, and it's a radiant look. Like I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this because it's just a really stunning finish. You know, it was a major splurge, but this is going to be my summer foundation. This is going to be what I use for the summer, so I will get good use out of this. The Vita Lumiere Aqua Cream Foundation Compact. Okay, so moving on, the next product that I would like to show you, and that was just lightning. You're about to hear thunder. Uh, okay, so the next product that I would like to show you, I wish it was bright out because you can really see the depth of it, but it's what I'm wearing right now on my lips. And this is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dragon Girl. And this is it right here. I will open it on up for you. And I love this pencil. Like, I'm getting good use out of this because I wear it so much. If you, first off, love this color, you're comfortable wearing it on your skin, you'll love this. But it just gives you such a pop of color on your lip without having a sticky lipstick or having to deal with the mess of a lipstick. It stays and it lasts and lasts and lasts. This is it right here. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. And this is $24. You can get these at Sephora or wherever NARS is sold. But I'm wearing it on my lips right here. I'll come on in so you can see. And I love it. And it stays in place so nicely. Just extremely rich, vibrant, cherry red pout. It's the perfect amount of bright too. It's not like a neon bright, just like this perfect vibrancy. And I love this like jumbo crayon effect that you can just sharpen and you know reuse. And it wears and wears and wears and it hardly transfers too. Like let's do a test on my hand. I just kissed my hand and I have a lot of coats and look, you can't see anything. You barely can see anything, which I love. And it's not moisturizing, but it's not drying either. Like most lip pencils are that they really dry you out. Just hydrate your lips before and keep them moisturized before and then it will wear uh, the right way and not like dry and show through your cracks because I hate that with the product, with any lip product. Um, but I love this so much. This is the NARS 
Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. Okay, so my next favorite is a product that I never not have. This is my signature smell. I've talked about this before. This is my favorite and only smell that I wear. It is the Michael Kors, the signature perfume. And this is the Michael Kors Rollerball. This is the packaging on the outside and this is what it actually looks like. And I love this. This is the perfect product to just put into your clutch, put into your purse and go instead of bringing the big bulky bottle. And this goes for 20 or $22 depending on where you get it. And so the one end, you roll it off, and it's the, my favorite, the Michael Kors Signature Perfume. And then on the other side is this really gorgeous lip gloss. It's just this soft pink lip gloss that I'm loving, and you can wear every single day. And I love the gloss. It's just like a super girly, perfect, everyday lip gloss. And this whole entire product is just super convenient, and I love this. And this is an absolute favorite for the year, not just the month, just for the year. This is the Michael Kors Rollerball. All right, so it's like a monsoon behind me right now. Like it actually is black. And so I have all the lights in my room right now. It still is enough light to show you. This is the Tarina Tarantino Jewel Shadow Palette. And this is in the shade Magical, and that's Thunder. And you can get this at Sephora for $32. Okay, so you open it up, and these are the shades right here. As you can see, it also comes with this really cute mirror. They're very easy eyeshadows to work with. Right here, they have the white highlight, and then they have the pale pink which is in the center for the perfect like all over lid then they have the two medium pinky purple taupe shades are right here that you can figure out which one you like to use and then the dark purple is really really gorgeous for that smoky look if you wanted to go there and use that i love the packaging i love the quality and i really love this this is the tarina tarantino jewel shadow palette in the shade magical Okay, so moving on, these are now my drugstore picks from the month. The first one... Okay, now it's raining. A lot. And it's still dark. Okay, so my first drugstore pick, I recently came across at the drugstore and I was... Oh, the lights just flickered. Oh my gosh, my puppy's probably freaking out. Okay, so... I love thunder. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna continue on until the lights go out because they might possibly do so. Okay, so my first drugstore pick from the month is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. And it comes in this really gorgeous teal and purple packaging, which I'm a sucker for packaging and I love teal. So, you know, I really did love the packaging, but I wanted to try this out. It's a new addition to the Volume Express line. And if you love the Volume Express mascara, which I absolutely do, this is a new addition to it, the Mega Plush Volume Express. And this is uh, goes for $6 at any drugstore. And so this is the first gel mousse finish. This is the first gel mousse mascara, like I was saying, and I love the applicator. Let me show you. It comes with this football shaped applicator. Okay, so it's, it's sort of this just like flexor brush that goes up and down to give you a really great precise application. It gives you like mega separation and great length, great volume, like they promised, and I love this. This is the mega plush this is the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara in Blackest Black. So this is one of my favorite concealers lately. I've been like on this concealer kick and like obsessed with trying new concealers. And so I, oh, this is gonna be loud because I was bright. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. And I actually bought two. I bought one in the shade Medium, which is my, you know, concealer for my face, for my, my skin tone. And then I also bought it in the shade Brightener, uh, Brightener Illuminator. Uh, number 60, which is perfect for the under eyes. It really gives you that like bright pop, which I love. 
and these are $8. You can get these at any drugstore. And there's been a lot of buzz about these on the internet, and I really was interested in trying them. I also picked up the foundation. Um, uh, this is in the shade, in the shade medium. Is it medium? Um, and I like the foundation, and eh, I have better foundations than that, but the concealers are really great. And I love this highlighter brightener shade because it has like this pink tone. There's also a neutralizer shade, which is more of a yellow, just depending on what skin tone you are. I have a lot of redness in my face, and so I really like this pink brightener. And so when you open it on up, it comes with this like soft, fluffy piece for the application. And I don't know how clean that is. I don't know how, um, it's like full on like tornado style behind me, like monsoon. Um, and I'm so distracted by it. Um, yeah, so it's this like soft sponge applicator and um, I just put it right under the eye. I don't know how sanitary that is, but what are you gonna do? That's how it came with it. And I love it, it's thin coverage. It's not like a thick major coverage, it's just a thin coverage. And then setting it with a powder afterwards really conceals your dark circles, so I love this. This is the, oh and I'm like on a Maybelline kick, huh? Cause I already showed you the mascara. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Mascara. Concealer. See, I'm like nuts right now. It's like going sideways. Okay, anyway, continuing on. Okay, so my next product that I want to show you is from NYX, which I love. I'm a huge fan of the NYX line. And it is a cream blush. And I know people are really scared of cream blushes because they're like, how do you work with them? Okay. Okay, I am back. Uh, I stopped for a second because I was like, it's so dark, but it's still pouring rain, but the sky is bright. So, move, continuing on. Okay, so the next product that I wanted to show you is from the company NYX, and this is a cream blush, like I was saying. Some people get scared of the cream blush. They think it's hard to apply, but it's actually super easy. All you could do is just use your finger, dab it on your cheek and then just blend until it looks really blended. Or you can take just like a stippling brush and just blend, it makes it really easy to blend. And so I love the NYX formula. This is the color Glow. And it just gives like a natural, radiant, like long lasting, super long lasting, really creamy finish to your cheeks, which I love. And it's very, very soft. Glow is a warm pink. It's very pigmented, and the finish is like semi-matte with like a gorgeous sheen, so it has like a little, little tint of brightness to it. Um, let me swatch this for you next to the lip that I showed you already today. It's a really, really gorgeous warm pink. And this is it right here next to dragon girl that I showed you earlier. So this is it blended out right here. This is glow and people get really scared of the cream blush but it really is hydrating and it gives you this like really dewy finish and I love this and I can't wait to pick up some more of these. This is the NYX cream blush in glow. Okay so my next favorite is from Revlon. It is a new release to Revlon. The color burst lip gloss that Revlon always has but a new shade that they released this season is crystal water. And these lip glosses are $7.99 usually at um, any drugstore, wherever you can get Revlon. And it's a new shade from Revlon. It's from the Escapism. Escapism was their summer collection that they released. It's a clear gloss with like a shimmer inside. Very, very smooth. It's not sticky at all. It's like a really nice texture. Perfect for the summer. Just the perfect lip gloss to keep in your bag for the summer. I love this so much. I'm so happy I picked this up. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Crystal Waters. Okay, so I have to have a MAC pick, obviously, in my favorites video, because I'm always picking up new MAC. And I'm gonna do a blush video soon, because there's been so many MAC blushes that have been released, and I have picked up quite a few of them. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that. But one of my favorites that I've been going to this month, and it'll be perfect for the summer, this is the blush right here, MAC blush. It's called Pink Cult. Pink Cult, and it is a matte powder blush. And this is the shade right here. It's really, really, really beautiful. It's like a mid-tone neutral pink shade. It has a matte finish. It's a really neutral shade. Um, it's perfect for if you're gonna do a dramatic lip. I'm actually wearing it right now. When you're doing a sort of vibrant lip or a vibrant eye, this is just a perfect touch to give you a subtle cheek, but sort of give you a little bit of color. 
Uh, let me swatch this on my finger. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get to the effect, but that's it right there. It's a really pretty, almost mauve, but it's too neutral to even have a mauve shade. It's a really neutral, great pink color. And I love these blushes. They have a really soft texture. They're very, very blendable. And it's just the perfect everyday shade. It's a very flattering shade as well. So it'll be good for any skin tone. And this was released in the MAC Real Sexy collection that came out in April of this year. MAC actually had a collection called the Trey Chic collection that was all blushes and I got quite a few from that. So that's what I'll, I'll include in the blush video that I'll do. But I'm loving this so much and this will be good also for going into fall as well when you're in that transition stage of your skin. Love this so much. This is the MAC Blush Pink Cult. I told you there's a whole lot of product. This is something that I've had for a really long time and I never bring out my purse. I never leave home without it. This is the, and I've talked about C.O. Bigelow before. This is the C.O. Bigelow Rose Solve, and I love this so much. This is $5.50. You can get these at Bath & Body Works. It's a very popular product. It's for lips, skin, face, or knees. This is like a multi-purpose product, which I absolutely love. On the back, it tells you. Our famous Rose Solve has long been a favorite since the early days. It's ability to care for lips and beautify skin. Directions, pat on any time as needed to care for lips or anything that needs a fix. I love this so much because it's only $5.50, super inexpensive, and you can use it all over the place. Like for example, uh, you can use this on your lips, your skin, your face, elbows, knees, wherever you have just like dry patch, perfect for that. And I love the Seal Bigelow. It's not tested on animals. It's cruelty free, which I love. It has no fragrance, which I also love because sometimes fragrances can be a little annoying or tricky. It does, if anything, have this like nice little like rose scent. And it's always in my bag. I love this so, so much. And on it, it says not tested on animals. I love that. This is the Co Bigelow Rose Salve. Okay, so my next year, now the sun's out. This video is going to be hilarious because it's going to be like bright, dark, bright because it's now stopped raining and the sun is back out okay so my last two favorites for the month are two nail polishes i like to save the polish for last because they're just my favorite um and the first one is sally henson's mint sorbet and the green nail polish trend is still in full effect and this mint shade is like crazy trend right now also pastels are crazy in right now mint sorbet is just a really gorgeous mint color that i love it's super pigmented and i love this brand it's like two dollars and it lasts really well and then the last favorite that i want to show you is a new essie color from the paparazzi collection it is called action and it's gorgeous it's like traffic cone orange i'm wearing a sort of a neon bright orange this is more of a pastel but it's bright like you see it from here but it is a bright bright orange and i love this so 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 much so that's it those are my may favorites to show you and i hope you liked them let me know if any of these products were your favorites of the month and pretty soon my june favorites are going to be coming right up because it's that time of year and if you haven't done so already please check out my blog life and polish where i have a full review and information and swatches and pictures of all these products that i showed you today i know it's a lot of products but i hope you enjoyed so thank you so much if you haven't done so already please hit subscribe and i'll see you soon bye